Hello and welcome to another video. Uh, this was actually a comment that came up in the previous video. Uh, I used not implemented when implementing a comparison operator and it seemed to violate the types of the function. Um, so I wanted to show you that and then show you why that happens and also how you can make your own types that work the same way. I don't know why you would want to, but you, you can. Uh, so let's get started by setting up a virtual environment. We'll install MyPy as we do. Uh, and so we basically had a function called, uh, I think it was, I think we implemented equality, but I don't remember. It doesn't matter. Um, and we had x object, which returns a bool. And we had return not implemented inside of that. Implemented. And if we run this through MyPy, uh, yeah, let's just run this through MyPy. Um, MyPy, this, you'll see that it passes. And if we run this um, and we get the value out of there, val equals eek. Uh, I don't know, none, none is technically an object. Oh, we need to do dash i. Oops, I didn't mean to, didn't mean to show that. Um, oh boy. This video is all over the place. Python 3 dash i t dot pi. Here we go. Uh, if we call, let's see, uh, val equals eek of any object, so we can use none. And you'll see val is not implemented. And if we do is instance of val and bool, we'll get false. So not implemented is very much not a boolean. So it seems it seems to me uh, like the type system is kind of being violated here, and it is. And there is a, a reason for this, uh, because it would be incredibly inconvenient to type this function otherwise. Um, this may change in the future, because I, I feel like this is a... Uh, it's probably not a common situation to accidentally do this, uh, but it is certainly possible. But I wanted to show you why it happens that way. And in order to do that, we're going to be looking at type shed. This is where all of the types are defined for type checkers, and a bunch of type checkers reuse this. Uh, for instance, MyPy, MyPy uses this, and I think the PyCharm one does too. I think most of them should use this, so. Anyway, we're going to look at the stubs for the standard library, and in particular, we're going to be looking at the built-ins stubs. Uh, not site built-ins, but built-ins. So these are stubs that pretend to talk about the default types in Python, uh, things that you would get directly out of the built-ins module, uh, because not implemented comes from the built-ins module, and anything inside built-ins is, um, is globally available in Python. Um, and if we look for not implemented, not implemented, uh, you'll see that not implemented is a instance of this fake not implemented type. There is actually a real type for this in Python, but uh, you can't instantiate it directly. And so they've made a fake type with an underscore here. And you'll note that the uh, base class of this type is any, and that's what allows it to escape the type system. So because it is a, you know, it is a class which is based on any, that means that it can be, it can satisfy any return value. Um, and, you know, even though this value here, <laughs> let's say we change this to integer, for instance. Um, let me restart this, eek of two returns not implemented. Uh, so it should return an integer, so this should be type sound, but it is not because, um, you know, this is this has escaped our type system. And the way you could make your own class that does the same thing is from typing import any, and of course you could just make your own sneaky type like this. I would not recommend doing this because, um, again, it, it's not type sound, and so there's a, uh, oh, I forgot to activate my virtual one, but it's not type sound, so you can introduce type errors by doing this, um, but that is how this particular thing works. And my guess is that it's, you know, it's isolated enough to compare its operators that it shouldn't be a big deal in the general case. But anyway, I thought this was interesting uh, and, you know, a little interesting explanation to dive into type shed. So you know, hopefully this was helpful. If there are additional things you would like me to explain, leave a comment below or reach out to me on the various platforms. But thank you all for watching and I will see you in the next one.